Where are the helicopters when you need them? Because you're, sc <laughs> you're screaming and hollering. You're screaming and hollering. You're screaming and hollering. Throughout the years, you've been pretty vocal in saying in the, your belief that John is arguably the greatest of all time. If John wins the heavyweight title and, and racks up a few title defenses, is the debate going to be over? Yeah, I really haven't run into anybody who's really debated it much, but if there is any debate out there, that would definitely be the end of it. I mean, re realistically, when you look at, at John's career, he's undefeated. He should be 27-0 right now. Um, he won that, that fight. That fight should have been a stoppage, not a DQ. Um, you know, the, the one drives me crazy. It must definitely drive him crazy. So he's undefeated. And, and uh, if you look at the, the people that he went through, you know, to win the title, defend the title, it's, it's very impressive. And it's undeniable that he's the greatest of all time. Thank you. Listen, anybody deny this guy is the GOAT anymore? I, I don't think anybody would deny it. Um, not only is he the greatest light heavyweight ever, he looks like the greatest heavyweight ever, too. So, um, I mean, th there were a couple of interviews leading up to this fight where he was saying, I'm going to make this look easy. And I thought that was a silly thing to say. Um, the guy is unfucking believable, man. He really is. You know, l let's just put it this way. I, I mean, John Jones, there's no doubt that John Jones is special. He's, he's the greatest of all time. He's undefeated. He's never lost a fight ever in the UFC. He's fought all the best competition out there. But dealing with him is like dealing with an artist is the best way to explain it. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I don't know what's going to happen from here on out. You know, I, uh, I'm just happy we got to see what we saw tonight. It just... Um, and... Many of us that have been in the game for a long time, some of you might disagree, some of you might agree, I'm a big believer in ring rust and, and what it does to you. We didn't even get to see any ring rust. Who knows if there was any ring rust tonight? He just went in there and literally made it look like nothing, like it was the easiest thing in the world for him to do. He's a total freak of nature and he's the best ever. Tonight he, it, I mean, to, to even compare Francis Ngannou or Cyril Gaon to John Jones, it's, you can't. You can't even compare him to this guy. I, I, he went in there and finished. I, I don't know how you got. I, I still can't believe what I saw. How easy and how fast and how simple he made that look. It's, it's still blowing my mind. What? So it's hard to even talk about him in any other heavyweights. What? John Jones is so good. I mean, you, you can doubt him. You can this, you can that, you can not like him. The guy's never lost a fight. Moved up to heavyweight, made it look really easy. Stand right here. Uh, Joe Rogan on the broadcast called Islam the perfect lightweight in there, just the size, his style of fighting, just his fight IQ. I'm curious, like, where do you rank him in this pantheon of lightweights that we've seen over the years? Yeah, I, th I think he's, you know, one of the greatest of all time. I don't think he's, I, I think he's incredible. I don't think he's the pound-for-pound pound best fighter in the world. For anybody to call Islam the pound-for-pound pound best fighter in the world when John Jones is still fighting is nuts and shouldn't be ranking in the pound-for-pound pound or doing any of the rankings ever, if that's what you really think. John Jones has never lost a fight ever. He's fought all the baddest dudes in the world. And then when you think about what pound-for-pound pound rankings really mean, he moved up to heavyweight and destroyed the best guy in the world. Um, as long as John Jones is still fighting active and in the rankings... Yeah, nobody's pound for pound best fighter in the world. Yeah. Just to go back to Islam, uh, he's now on a 14 fight winning streak, which is the third longest in history behind Anderson Silva and Usman. What would it take for him to surpass John Jones in your mind for that pound for pound number one? I mean, when you think about what pound for pound really means, right? He fought Volkanovski, mm -hmm. who's a weight class lower than him. John Jones beat everybody at light heavyweight, then beat the best heavyweight in the division like it was nothing at a higher weight class. So, I mean, John Jones is absolutely positively the pound for pound best fighter in the world. Probably the greatest fighter of all time in any sport. When you think about, when you talk about who's the baddest dude in the world, you put two guys in a room and who walks out, John Jones walks out of the fucking room every time. No question about it.
Yeah. And in no way trying to diminish John's accomplishments, but like, you know, he's fought, but. <laughs> but he's fought once in the last however many years. Islam's fighting multiple times a year defending. So like at what point does activity outweigh well, you know, let, John's? Beautiful. I, I like that you asked that question. Let's talk about activity. Three years off. Nobody, not even Ali. Nobody's ever come from three years off and looked the same. John Jones walked through the heavyweight, the number one guy in the heavyweight division like it was nothing with three years off. Yeah. John Jones is the best ever. Ever. And when I say ever, I mean in any combat sport. He's the best ever. You throw John Jones in a room with anybody, John Jones walks out of the room. Anyway, it's a whole nother level going up to heavyweight. I mean, even as big as John Jones is, as good as John Jones is, you know, when John Jones was moving up to heavyweight, we were like, this is going to be interesting. Um, it wasn't. But don't you think, like, when you look at it, you go, Alex was 230 today. I saw his thing on the scale. He was 230. If he puts on 15 pounds, he's the same weight as John. And you're talking about perhaps the greatest single accomplishment in combat sports history, right? You know, doing what Alex would do if he does that. And, you, you know, you, you normally embrace those kind of big historic things. And, and that, this one you don't seem to have that same fervor for. Not, not true. If he, if he cleaned out a division and we were like, there's literally nobody left for this guy to fight. And, if, and, and he's 37. If he wants to move up to heavyweight, that's, but that's, that, that's not the case. And when you think about, you said he was 230 today, right? Chuck and Forrest Griffin used to walk around at 230, and they would cut down to 205. Th that, that's not big. Some of these heavyweights are, you know, 265. They're cutting to 265. It's just a whole nother level. I mean, that's why I think this is the problem with the conversation that we're having here and why people aren't giving John Jones the respect for pound for pound. This guy destroyed the best heavyweight in the division. Easily made it look like nothing. John Jones is the pound for pound best fighter in the world and the greatest fighter ever, period. End of story. Well, I don't disagree with that, but he, you know, um, he hasn't fought in a long time, but you know, in Stipe or in a longer time. He got hurt. No, I, I get it. I'm not criticizing. He was him. trying to fight. I'm just saying, yeah. No, yeah, I'm well, it's not like he's just sitting around and doesn't want to fight. The no, guy came I, to I'm fight. It's that. the first injury he's ever had. But I, and listen to me. I'm not defending John Jones. You know what I mean? John Jones has been one of my biggest headaches in, 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 in the entire time that I've been in this company. Right? And, you know, the, the guy hasn't been the model, uh, you know, fighter in the company. No matter what you think of John Jones, he's the best ever and he's the pound for pound best fighter in the world and he's the pound for pound best fighter in the world well except that he hasn't fought in the last year so he's not because he got hurt he right, got but, injured but if, if you don't if you if you were coming into a fight and you got hurt that means you're not the pound for pound best fighter in the world anymore how does that even make sense when it doesn't fights, make he, sense when he fights right he if he was sitting out and getting arrested and running around or whatever and you're like you know uh, well, John Jones is inactive. I'd say, eh, may, maybe you're right, but as an educated adult who knows the fight business, you cannot deny that while John Jones is active, he is the greatest fighter in the world. Did I not say that? Yes. I don't know what you're arguing about here. I don't even know how we're in this conversation. I, I just think that that competitive spirit that he has and, and his... Uh, desire to prove to the world that he's the best, especially when people are saying he could be, you know, possibly the best ever. I think that's the kind of shit that fires John Jones up. If you guys want to get into the John Jones shit, we can get into that. Um, and going back to Jones, I haven't been here with you to spar about John Jones, but I don't really want to spar with you. What I'm wondering about is, you know, I was at John Jones' first fight in Minnesota, and do you feel like the people that, this sport has grown so much and there's so many new fans, but do you feel like, unless you were there in that moment, to know that in the span of whatever it was, 16 months, him beating Shogun, Machida, Rashad Evans, like, if you didn't understand what those guys were at that time, do you not really get why John Jones is the greatest of all time? Yeah, I, I, I think that's, that's definitely a good point. Um, but it, it, <laughs> numbers don't lie in, in what this guy has done and what he's accomplished and what he's achieved. And like I said, it's not like... Uh, um, you know, John and I have had the best relationship. And, you know, when you talk about guys who helped elevate the, the, the company and the sport and everything else, um, you can't deny that John Jones is the greatest of all time. What the pound for pound really means is, you know, if you look at what Alex has done. And, and again, John Jones, I mean, come on. John Jones is undefeated. He's never lost a fight in the octagon, ever. 
So it's just it's just hard to talk with.